What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Burley Fishing. Today we're doing another unboxing that I'm extremely excited about. This is my first time actually getting all three of these boxes in the same month, uh, but I also have more of the premium boxes that we're gonna go through. So we have the MTB Elite. Uh, and this is for the month of November. We have the Monster Bass Regional. Then we have the Six Cents Super Six box. Hashtag bag. It's a bag. It's not a box. Uh, so we have all three of these to compare. So if you guys are on the lookout for like what the best box is out there, what the best box might be for you, and you want to get an idea of what comes in these things, this video is for you. Also, if it's your first time stopping by Burley Fishing, do me a favor and please hit that subscribe button. Smash that like and hit the notifications bell if you wanna see when I post more videos. I should be dropping more videos every single week, even through the winter, even though it is freezing cold outside and it's hard to fish. Uh, the hard ice is coming soon, so I plan on doing some ice fishing this year as well. But let's kick things off with this MTB Elite. I've never gotten the Elite box, so pretty stoked about this one. Let's see what we got in this bad boy. If we open this sucker up, ooh, dang. All right, so looks like we're gonna have a pretty good time. Uh, so what we've got in store here, first off, we've got the Game Changer Lures, some five aught Reckham hooks. So just a super heavy wire hook uh, that is just gonna absolutely smash some lips. Bam, check that out. So this is more of a somewhat offset, but more like a straight worm hook, uh, but super thick wire. That's uh, gonna be pretty sweet. So be flipping some cover with that. That's gonna be great. Next up, there's another bait that I've been looking at for a while. So we have the Bubonic by Catch Co. Uh, with Chris Grout. So the Bubonic Bugs Square Bill. I've been loving square bills, especially fall, spring, winter. I mean, basically all year, but I get them mostly in spring and fall is where we, we tend to hammer them. Um, but this is a fantastic paint job if you guys have seen this thing floating around it's well packaged that black and blue square bill looks great solid airbrush paint job um, really liking the color pattern and the black eyes on this are freaking money this is gonna be pretty awesome for any like stained or muddy conditions uh, and then we're looking at two and a half inch this is hurt hooked sharp hooks uh, so this is the two and a half inch, half ounce weight. Wait, I have the mic. <laughs> so you guys can hear that rattle. Uh, but yeah, sick square bill. So I'm pretty pumped about that. So we got the Bubonic by Catch Co. Square Bill. We've got another sticky. It's going on this desk. We've got the Dibble Digest. Moving on. That's pretty rad. Okay. So a Lucky Craft intended for downsizing, downsizing a lipless. Let's get this guy open. Very small, still with the rattle, very small lipless bait uh, in a clear pattern. So that's pretty nice. So what we have here is just a downsized lipless bait in a clear pattern, uh, smaller size hooks. So if you got some finicky bass or just no mondos wherever you're fishing you could downsize it uh this time of year this is great for me i'm definitely using smaller baits i'm using a lot of blade baits and uh, cast masters and spoons and things like that right now uh, but lipless will also work and i definitely like this color pattern and this size so this would be nice it's got the uh, vibration still and i think this is a suspending model raking in the deals here all right so next up we have a shaky head by perfection lures so we're looking at 3 16 ounce, and this is gonna be a super pain in the butt to open. Check that out. All right, so we got stand up. Normally, I mean, a lot of the shaky heads you're gonna fish are gonna be stand up, that's the idea, but how they stand is different based on each model. So some are gonna be a lot more vertical than this particular one. But if you check this out, we have these little, uh, what do we wanna call these, alien antenna basically coming off the sides, these legs. So it's gonna stand a lot better on the bottom. Uh, and the way this is set up is your bait's gonna suspend off on an angle rather than straight up and down. So that's gonna set it apart from maybe like the foliage that you're uh, dropping this bait around. So 
I really like that idea and this is fantastic. I've used jigs that have legs like these. I can't remember what brand, probably the same, um, but I really like that style. Uh, this this idea is pretty awesome. So I like that a lot. Love shaky heads too. Also great for finicky bass, great this time of year for me. So I like that. Uh, next up we've got some Rage Tail Craw. Great, awesome plastic. Uh, love some Strike King Rage Tail. And we're looking at, gosh, what color is this? check that out so we've got like a green pumpkin style blue fleck in there too i really like that uh so it's got a nice little glimmer in the water lots of action with these uh claws i love the craw baits and that believe it or not is going to pair up right with this so we'll be flipping this thing through some heavy cover that is going to make for some pretty awesome catches and some fun fights so i'm excited for that combo later on Another thing we could com combo with that and also another craw pattern is these big bite baits, right? And crack this open just for you guys. All right. All right, so a little less action on the claws. It doesn't have like the lip on the claw there uh, that we had on the Strike King, but still lots of action there. And then we're straight black and blue here. So again, it's muddy conditions, stained waters. Uh, most of the time on like the Grand River, my bigger river waters around me for smallmouth and pike, uh, I'll be flipping black and blue stuff all day. All right, getting down to the wire here. We got two more. Uh, so next up, we've got a Cabela's exclusive. That's interesting. So live target Tennessee craw pattern crankbait. Oh my gosh. There we go. Let's look at this baby. Ooh, ooh, look at that. So it's a craw style crankbait. So we have the actual body of the craw here. Here's the claws, here's the eyes, here's the rear part of the body. What is that? I don't know, freaking butt tail section, whatever. So it's gonna look like, uh, here's your lip for the actual crankbait. It's gonna look like a crawfish swimming away because they swim in a reverse direction. They don't swim forward, right? So this is set up real nice. I like the pattern. So we have like this hot orange at the front, some yellow into like almost a chartreuse on the bottom, orange on top, right? These big bulgy clear eyes. And it's got just the clear pattern throughout. So it's gonna have some translucence nature to it, uh, which is pretty awesome. So I think it's going to look really good and close to more natural in the water. This is a pretty big craw for where I'm at. So uh, I'll be interested to see, but I'm sure we can make some pretty solid catches on that. So awesome. We got some jig heads. Uh, so these are the Ven rig heads, uh, which I believe is by Venom Lures. Yeah, Venom Lures. That would make sense. Get this freaking thing. Oh, oh gosh. Zero out of 10 on open ability of these items. But anyways, check this out. So what weight are we? Quarter ounce. So we got some quarter ounce, right? Big fat mushroom jig head there. This is going to be for Ned rigging, right? And if you guys watch my channel, you know I love Ned rigging. So this is fantastic. The best part about this is it's so hard to find chartreuse heads for Ned rigging, right? Uh, at least for the mushroom style jig. I mean, you can get jigs and chartreuse, of course you can, walleye jigs all day. Um, but I really do like that mushroom style just for the way that it sits in the water, pulls through cover. I just enjoy this style a lot better and it's usually what I fish. But most of the time you just get black or green pumpkin style. So this is fantastic. I'm really excited about this. And then of course you've got the bait keeper hook right at the end there. These are quarter ounce. They're pretty big. I don't know how well they're gonna work for me right now, um, you know, unless there's a little bigger fish in the water. But I mean, still, the overall body of the bait's gonna be pretty small. So I'm sure we could pull it off. So that's everything we've got in this box, guys. So let's boil this down, right? I'll start from the bottom here. Uh, we have the Big Bite Baits. This is more of a swimming pattern, uh, craw, black and blue. It's valued at 349. We've got the Rage Tail guys coming at a value of 549. The Venom Ned Heads. These are going to be valued at 499. Yeah, what are we at? The Game Changer Five Ot Reckham Hammer Hooks. 
These are $4.99. The Perfection Lures Shaky Head, $5.99. Live Target Crankbait, that one was $9.99. The Catch Co. Square Bill at $11.99. And finally, actually surprisingly, this Lucky Craft valued at $12.99. So I know the Lucky Crafts are generally pretty expensive, so that's interesting <laughs> total value of this box guys is 59.92 so about 60 bucks almost even in that box and the cost of the elite box itself 39.99 so about 40 bucks so we saved about 20 dollars in value here so we get 60 bucks in lures for 40 bucks not bad and the lures in there i like a lot they're all things that i would fish with a lot and that's kind of important sometimes you get these boxes and it's just stuff that you would never fish with right so that came out really well next right so next up is one of the up and comings for me i've really been liking the monster bass boxes i've been getting lately uh, so props to this company and i'm sure this is going to be pretty great got our value card here we'll come back to that We've got, okay, this is pretty cool. So this is something you don't often get in boxes like this. So we have a $15 gift card, uh, good towards a pair of Detour sunglasses. They're polarized sunglasses. Uh, I've never tried them before, so, but 15 bucks to spend on them, why not? So that's pretty cool. Sticker, I actually like this sticker. Uh, it's pretty cool, so like Mountain Dew style monster bass. That's awesome. First lure out of the box, we have a Lunker Hunt jerk bait in a classic silver and blue. So this is going to be money. Here we go, right there. So we got, so you have that rattle, right? Short lip, it's meant for just ripping, right? So jerk bait, pretty classic fall, spring, even winter uh, bait to be using. So obviously I'm gonna use this. And then the blue and silver color with a little chartreuse gill there um, often works really well. You know, it's a half ounce. You can get it down to about six feet if you're swimming it really fast. Uh, or you can go for just the rip and stop type method. So we can rip it, let it float, because it's a floating bait, let it slowly float up to the surface. And often that's when you get those strikes with jerk baits. So I'm excited for that. Been trying to get into using more jerk baits. We got a jig. So next up is a hack attack. Flippin' Jig by Strike King. Another solid classic color here. We've got green pumpkin with some orange, right? So good for most situations. It's gonna do a solid job. Uh, it's got a little bit of a orange fleck on the head of it too, if you can see that. Nice brush guard, stout hook. I mean, it's gonna do work. What I do like about this, I just saw, is you got a bait keeper, a little screw right there. So you're actually gonna just shove your plastic on down and it's gonna spend more time on this hook and less time getting ripped off. So that's kind of nice. We've got a hog farmer. All right, cool. So I've been looking at this company a little bit more lately. All right, so hog farmer. Check that out. So nice ribbed plastic. As you can see, I'm, I'm like not even moving. It's got a ton of action on this tail. So I like this style, like I've been really interested in trying to fish this a little bit more. Um, so you see your normal like paddle tail on uh, plastic swim baits, but this does not have that. So it's a little bit different. It's got a ton of action though, and it's gonna look really good. I've seen videos, underwater footage of these guys. Looks really good in the water. Um, and white, classic swim bait color. So I think we're gonna do just fine with that. So those are pretty awesome. This is a four and a half inch. Spunk Shad Swim Bait is the name of the actual uh, bait. And then it's in the albino color, white, right? 4.5, cool. All right, we've got Bama Baits. Some Bama Baits coming in hot. Dude, just thank you to Monster Bass for choosing plastics that open from the top and don't require the tearing method. Because if you can see behind me, I like to hang them up because I only have so much room in my boat for a million plastics, right? So I try to take what I need, not everything, right? And then I can hang the stuff I'm not using on the wall, but if it doesn't have like a nice plastic hold or you know something you don't have to tear off, then it ends up looking like this, right? Where you have to tear a hole in it in order to 
get it to hang, right? But anyway, so Bamba Baits got a small, looks like drop shot. Yeah, so more of like a drop shot style worm. So we have a smaller size worm, something you could rig up to a drop shot, or I mean, if you're just downsizing at this time of year, you could downsize, throw this on a worm hook, throw it on a shaky head, uh, just a smaller size shaky head, or, or even rig something like this on a mushroom headed jig, uh, like a Ned head, right? So pretty solid, we got just green pumpkin, a little black fleck in there. Uh, then we've got some zinkers, right? So the Z-Man zinkers, love these. So if you're looking for a Sanko or a stick bait that just does not die, these are it. These are so solid. So uh, going back to like that five out hook we got in the MTB box, we could rig this up on that. Maybe I got some hooks in here. No, I don't, that's okay. But anyways, any worm hook, offset hook, you know, throw this on there and just rig this or run this through some cover and it's gonna survive a long time. Uh, wacky rigging, Nico rigging, these things will last a while. And this is a mud bug color. This is the five inch worm. So mud bug is like black and gray with some gold fleck. Next up, we got some Mustad trebles, a size six. I don't really need to get these out, you get the idea. So Mustad uh, is actually solid hook brand. Treble size six. I'll probably use a few of these and I think it's gonna pair up with the next two baits that we have in the box. So solid option there. Next up, we've got the original steel shad, right? And this is a blade bait. I mentioned uh, as I was unpacking that MTB box, I've been using a lot of blade baits. This is the time of year for the blade baits and this is a fantastic one. So this one's a little bit heavier, bigger body, than I'm used to with blade baits. Um, it's a little heavier, but it's gonna have like an extremely erratic retrieve. Uh, I mean, that's just the way it works with this body type. Uh, but this would be a, a nice variant to the other ones that I have. So pretty solid. And their tagline is uh, fish bite it. So, I mean, if the fish bite it, like I'm gonna fish with it, right? All right, so finally, Last bait in the box, guys, we've got a river to sea lipless bait called the Ruckus. Check that out, right? So extremely loud rattle. Uh, again, the retrieve, you're gonna have a pretty erratic action. This is a, I, I do catch a lot of fish around here on this type of color, so it's sort of like a burnt craw almost. It's a little bit translucent, so it's gonna look really good in the water. Um, I like it a lot. So it's a look, look a little more natural when they're uh, translucent like this and the hooks are hooks are sticky. All right, cool. So that's awesome, I'm excited about that. We've got a heavier, big fat lip list. We can cover a lot of water with this baby. Uh, so let's work our way through guys. We've got the River to Sea lip list, this guy right here, valued at 12 bucks. The original Steel Shad, valued at 750. The Mustad Trebles, coming in at five bucks. There. Zinkers, these are about four bucks. Bama baits, four bucks. These hog farmer, six bucks. There's a lot of them in there. Strike King jig, 450. And that Lunker Hunt jerk bait coming in at five bucks. So, if you're keeping count, what's the value at here? Cool thing is we got a lot of name brands, so we've got a, a, a lot more, I guess I would say, reliability or street cred with some of these baits, so that goes a long way. Don't forget, we also have this $15 uh, gift card, essentially, for um, the Detour sunglasses. So add 15 bucks on top of that, we're actually looking at somewhere around $65 value for the $34.99 we spent on that Monster Bass. So pretty dang solid deal. That brings us to this bad boy, right? So now, we've got our Premium Super 6 sack. They changed the name! All right, yes. All right, you guys, they changed the name. It is now the Six Cents Premium Super 6 sack. Say that seven times fast, I dare you, right? So the Super 6, 
This is hard. <laughs> they, need to, they need to change his name again. The Premium Super 6 Sack, right? We're gonna dig into this bad boy. So this one comes in at about 34 bucks. Um, again, so we're all around the same price point, right? 34, uh, 40, and then the Monster Bass is 35, right? It's all about the same price. So let's see what we get in this one. Let's start off the top with, what, what is this? Okay, we have a whew, little rod sleeve. Pretty rad, so we have a neoprene rod sleeve. Bam, nice stretch to it. So that's cool. I did not expect to get that in a box sack uh, that's normally just for baits. Awesome. Now, I wasn't sure how this was gonna go. This is the second uh, sack that I've gotten from Six Cents. I thought it was gonna be all crankbaits, like every time. So I'm about to show you that it's not that, right? Let's see what we get in this sack. So what we have right now, first off, is the Crush Mini 25X. I have two other sizes of the Crush Square Bill. So the Crush 25X, look like these. So we have like a nice little panfish type pattern with the red eye, good stout hooks. It is stealth model in a baby bluegill color. Um, so no real rattling to it. Um, but it's, you know, if you got to downsize your bait, but you still want to throw something with erratic action like a square bill, boom, here you go, right? So little crankbait. Um, I love it. And I loved the, uh, I think I had the Crush 50X. I caught a ton of fish on that um, in one of my videos. Uh, so like, I already like their crankbaits and that's a pretty solid one. And so I already like their square bills and that's a pretty solid one right there. Chance to downsize it and we get a little opportunity to catch a little more finicky bass, right? Uh, next up, we have the Quake 70 Thud. So this one's called the Thud. It's got sort of a harder rattle to it. Bright orange color, like a little bluish color on top, indigo, if you will. Um, I love it, it looks awesome. Tons of lipless. I've been stacking up on the lipless, so uh, we're gonna have to go fish a bunch of these real soon. So that one looks great. I'm gonna finish out the hard baits, and then we got three different things, right? So I thought it was gonna be all hard baits. Turns out it's not. Let's see what else we get. This is the Cloud9 Mini Mag, and it's freaking huge. So this is a giant square bill. Got more of a, a tinny, pretty chill, uh, rattle system in it, um, but it comes in one of my favorite patterns, which is that shad pattern with this chartreuse on it. They call this one wild shad. Yeah, look at the top of that. So paint job's pretty dang solid on this thing. Um, yeah, this should probably catch some big fish. That's an awesome square bill, it's huge. So we're down to three more baits in this sack, right? And they're not hard baits, so let's check them out. The first one is something I've been wanting for a while, so I need to stack up on more of these, but it's a divine underspin, right? So check that bad boy out. Got that sort of shad pattern there, darker on top, whiter on the belly, big willow leaf blade to be spinning behind there. And I do love the addition of the bait keepers, little corkscrew there. That's always nice, so I know that uh, my swim bait's not gonna come flying off. And we just picked up those white swim baits from Hog Farmer, so guess what's going on this? I think it's gonna be pretty solid. That's awesome. It's pretty heavy too. That is a half ounce. So we got a half ounce underspin right there. Uh, so that's gonna be awesome. That screw lock is gonna come in handy. Next up, we have a Divine Swim Jig. Now, if you guys don't use swim jigs, you should. They're fantastic, but I've heard really good things about Six Cents swim jigs especially. So I'm pretty pumped about this. Um, so first of all, also, Six Sense does a pretty good job of taking care of their skirts. So they got it all wrapped up so it doesn't get messed up. This is the Divine Swim Jig, and it looks fantastic. So we have sort of that fish head body right there, and then it's also tapered, so it's gonna pull through cover just a lot more easily. Um, brush guard looks pretty solid. And then if I open up our skirt here, all right, get that loosened up. 
Boom, it's gonna look great. So we've got sort of a white and gold pattern here. What do we call this one? This is the Gizzard Flash, right? So it's got some real nice color to it, if you guys can see that, right? So that's pretty awesome. Need more swim jigs, so that's, that's gonna be good for me. And there's our last bait, right? So we went through three friggin' boxes here. This is probably like a 87 minute video, I'm sorry. There's a lot of things to go through, but now hopefully I've answered some questions for you about your boxes or what you might invest in for this holiday season, this Merry Fishmas. The last one I am super pumped about because I keep seeing videos about this one. So this is our hybrid jig. We got a half ounce divine hybrid jig. Right, so get a real good look at that. So it's really interesting, right? So it's got this flat bottom, right? So we can just let it sit on the bottom, kind of like a shaky head or some stand-up type jig, but it's also got that tapered head so we can swim it. So it's a half ounce, right? Um, but it's got a little bigger body than our swim jig did. Both of these are half ounce, right? So very small, a little downsized, it's a little more chunky, right? Bigger brush guard and everything. It's gonna handle heavier cover a little bit better. We got a little more of a stout hook. Uh, it's just fantastic. And then we can also just let it sit, hop it and drag it. Uh, we can swim it. We can do a lot more with this uh, particular jig than the swim jig or your standard jigs, right? Uh, so I am excited about this. I've been thinking about getting some of these, so bam. So unfortunately with Six Sense, they don't send the uh, value card that you'll see with like Monster Bass or MTV, at least not yet. Maybe it's something that they will do in the future. They already changed uh, the name of that premium box to a premium sack, so that's pretty cool. Um, but typically what we're looking at with them, their hard baits run like $8.99 to $9.99, so we could say somewhere around, you know, high 20s, low 30s with our hard baits, so there's three of those. Then we had the underspin and the two jigs. Right, so we got these guys right here. So, I mean, we're probably looking easily around $45. Um, and then we've got this really cool thing that they threw in the mix too. So we got that rod sleeve, awesome. Could always use a few more of those to protect your gear. Um, all in all, pretty great box. I don't know, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments. Which of these three boxes, um, six cents is a sack, uh, which of these three monthly tackle boxes do you think was your favorite which one do you use yourself or which one are you thinking is worth checking out so again we had our mtb elite monster bass regional and then the six cents premium super sick sack right uh super sick hopefully you guys liked the video if you did go ahead and subscribe to burly fishing i really appreciate it smash that like button and then hit the notification bell so you can see when i post future videos Hopefully we get to do some fishing soon. If not, you guys are gonna see a lot more unboxings and building. Uh, I've got some stuff I need to buy. It's Fishmas season. There's gonna be some things going down. I will share all of that with you, so stay tuned for more, and we'll see you guys later.